Hi, here's Chris with a new quick tip video for Blender. Today I will show you how to control the color of two different materials. Here in this example I have two materials, a metallic material and a matte or soft material, but I can change the color of both material at once. Here you see it. So let's see how this works. In this example scene, I have two objects, a red and a blue cube. Everyone has its own material. The red cube has a material that is called red. The blue cube has a material that is called blue. When I change the blue color, for example, to red or green, it would change immediately. But this cube is not touched because it has its own material. That's normal. So I will change now both colors without changing the other values. To do this, I'm starting with an RGB node. To create an RGB node, you go to Add, Input, and Create an RGB node. Now you have this RGB node, and this node produces a color value and writes it somewhere where you want to do it. Here, for example, in the base color. So the RGB value of this node will be written into this base color. Maybe you already know it. Before I continue, I always forget to switch on my shortcut display here on the left side, so you can always see what I'm doing. Okay, let's continue. As you can see, I can change now the color and my uh, blue cube that was blue before is changing now to the color I'm choosing here. To do this here in the red material too, I have to work with groups. Groups in Blender are like instances, like references. So it means you can use it globally in all your materials and the materials can take the values you have in this group. Before we can create a group, we can go here to Add Group and Make Group or press Ctrl G. I switch this uh, note on here, I activate this note and press Ctrl G and now a new group was created inside our material here. Uh, Blender created this group and switched directly into the group and we now see uh, the content of this group. In this group is our RGB node that you had before and the output of our RGB node is, is now going into the group output. So we have in the group we have an input value here, an input area and an output value area. And all that is happening inside the group can be written into an output. So to leave this group, you just press top. Now we can see our material here and we see the group. Before we continue, we give the group a name. In this case, my color. This group is now inside Blender. To use this node in this material here now, we just have to add a group. Here we have this menu group and can say and we see now our new group. It's called my color. The same can be done by shift A and search for the group. So if you know the name, my color, then all groups will be listed here. And in this case we have just one group, my color, and you can use this one or choose it and click here and put it into this material, the red one. Now we can we can connect our output of this group into the base color and the yellow value of both materials is now written into this material here and into this material too. To change the color we go into the group so we click or press top and now I can change the value and you see both materials will be changed. So this is like an instance that can be used everywhere. So small, uh, some small information this group has some values here. You see this value of two, this number. This means this group is used in two data blocks, in two objects. This object and this object. So these two objects are using this group. You can see it's two. The next uh, icon here is uh, on the right side. With this icon, you can duplicate this group and create a new one with the content inside this group. So if you want, you can make a copy and work 
as a template and you choose and change the colors or whatever you want. So great, this was the tip how to control the color of both objects. Of course you can use the groups too to change other values like metallic or whatever. You just plug this group into the the input of these values here and now you can go inside the group and change it and it will change every material where it is connected with. Okay, I hope you liked my small tip and visit my website or watch my next video. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye bye.